And support for mining in the region is to support jobs. So we have to look at jobs. And if you really critically look at it, you look at the history of mining, which has left the community economically depressed today, in need of um, wanting another mining boom to support more jobs again. Um, but the thing with mining is it's boom and bust, and after they take the resources and leave, will, how will our communities be? Will, will people be still hungry for more jobs? Will our children be able to swim and play and drink from clean water? So, you know, who is going to protect us? Who is envisioning what are alternatives to mining? I don't see our politicians, like, promoting any ideas of other alternatives. So who is going to do that? So I think that sort of maybe you guys <laughs> can do that, start envisioning and not just saying stop, but what can we do? What can we do to, you know, have jobs and also a long-term sustainable future? Um, and lastly, we just, I just want to leave a message of the importance of getting past a lot of the political boundaries, different state laws. Some of us, you know, we're in Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, or even countries in Ontario. You'll see the, the map, Lake Superior, all around it is threatened with proposed mining activity. So we sort of have to get past those boundaries to be able to have, at least get on the same page and have dialogue about this.